I would like to, you know, to, uh, to present some facts I've been really uh, uh, collecting from this conference. And this, uh, what I really conclude from too many studies in multiple myeloma, that bone marrow transplant for patients with multiple myeloma is losing ground. And we're, we are in the era of really breakthrough treatment for multiple myeloma, which will result in durable response to the point that uh, bone marrow transplant may be delayed or not needed. And I will remind, remind you, pre-Glevic era, back in 1990s, early 2000s, when uh, bone marrow transplant was essential after failure of hydroxyurea for patients with CML. But now, with too many medications for CML, there's no need for transplant. And I think this is what's going on right now for multiple myeloma. I've seen impressive results with DARA uh, in refractory relapse multiple myeloma, with the progression-free survival shooting toward 40 months. And if you add on all those progression-free survival from first and second lines and third line, we will end up around 80 to 90 months. And so the patient can live for six, seven years before they go for transplant. With the new treatment options and new combination, we may end up getting, in total, add-on progression-free survivor beyond 100 months, which means, in the oncology, hematology point of view, potential like stable disease or chronic disease. And I think down the road, we, will, we won't need a bone marrow transplant for multiple myeloma patients. And I think not only multiple myeloma, for, and, uh, but also other hematolog hematologic malignancies. So it's a really exciting area with not only immunotherapy or CAR T cell or all those targeted therapies. So uh, I think in 2025, we may be, the indication bone marrow transplant would be only limited for acute leukemias. So this is what I'd like to pass this message for all doctors and whoever here. And thank you for your tribute.